Hi everyone, I hope you had a great three day weekend. Uh, if you were at the Zoom this morning, you don't need to watch this video. You can go exercise or practice your typing. Uh, everyone else who couldn't make it, stay with me and we'll go through the activities together. So, uh, we have mostly been focusing on vertebrate animals. Right? There's five main vertebrate animals. We have mammals, fish, reptiles, amphibians, and birds. We've only talked about one invertebrate group so far, which is insects. Uh, however, 97% of the animals on earth are invertebrates. So it's important that we, we learn a little bit more about them. Uh, however, there are so many different invertebrate groups that we're only going to touch on a few of them. So today we're going to start with arachnids. So I want you to say that word, arachnids. Let's clap it out. Arachnids, three syllables. And arachnids is just the uh, name for spiders. So today we're going to watch a short video, two minute video on brain pop about spiders. We will add the arachnid characteristics to our journals since we didn't have an arachnid card. And then we will draw a picture and label their main parts. And that will be it for today. All right, so I'm going to get you started with the video first. No, that's not it. Here we go. Moby? Moby, is that you? What are you hiding from? Oh, come on, that's a really small spider. Dear Tim and Moby, are spiders insects? From Melsar. No, Melsar, spiders are not insects. They belong to a group of arthropods called arachnids. Ticks, scorpions, and mites are arachnids too. A spider's body is divided into two sections. Here we have the cephalothorax. It's made up of the head and thorax. Four pairs of legs are attached to the cephalothorax. That's eight legs in all. Most spiders also have eight eyes, although some have fewer. This part is called the abdomen. You'll find many of their organs here, along with specialized glands that produce silk. The silk is a liquid in their body, but it goes solid when it comes into contact with the air. It becomes an elastic, incredibly strong line of silk that spiders use for all sorts of things. Spiders can hang from long drag lines. They protect their eggs with it. Digging spiders line their tunnels with silk. And baby spiders use long strands of it to float on air currents. We call this ballooning, by the way. But my favorite thing they do with it is spin webs. Not all spiders make webs, but the ones that do string them where they live to catch passing insects. If a bug gets caught in the web, the spider quickly crawls over and ties up the bug with more webbing. It bites the bug, injecting a venom that paralyzes it. Oh, by the way, not many spiders are poisonous to humans, but if there are some in your area, then you should learn what they look like so you know how to avoid them. So, when a spider is ready to eat its prey, it injects an enzyme that turns the bug into, well, sort of a liquid. Then it sucks down this liquid, consuming the bug. So those are spiders. All in all, a pretty neat animal. I'll see you next time. Whoop. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, I, I had this terrible dream. Okay. So, um, you're going to need your journal, and we'll be going over the main characteristics of arachnids. So in your journal, don't look at what I wrote yet, just write the title, Arachnid Characteristics, and today's day is 5-26-20, May 26th. Okay. Once um, 
you've written this, actually pause, and then you can press play when you're ready. I'm gonna move on. Three, two, one. Okay, so I have the poster to share with you. There's three characteristics on the poster, and then we're gonna add two more. So if you want, you can make a list of five things, skipping lines. One, skip a line, two, three, four, five. And the first three are on this poster for arachnids. Remember, arachnids are spiders and scorpions. Arachnids have two body parts. You may remember insects have three body parts, uh, but spiders or arachnids have two. It's the cephalothorax and the abdomen. And they have eight legs. Insects have six, arachnids have eight. And also they have no wings or antennae. Insects have two antennae. And sometimes they have wings, not always. But arachnids have no wings or antennae. Let's go ahead, write these three things down in your journal. We're gonna need to pause. And then when you're done writing, uh, I'll show you the other two things. So I'll move on in three, two, one. Okay, hopefully you wrote that in your journal. The other two things we're going to add is that they are cold-blooded and, of course, they are invertebrates. We are done with vertebrates. So they are invertebrates, which is just vertebrates with I in in front of it. Again, you can pause if you need more time and get it up close. So nice and big. And I'm moving on in three, two, one. Okay, we're going to draw a spider now. And then we'll label some of its parts. So you will need a blank piece of paper and something to draw with. A pencil is fine. Hmm. <sighs> there it is. It's a very short video. This is a simple spider. And before you start drawing, um, I want you to notice there's only two eyes on the spider. However, spiders can have up to eight eyes. Usually they have six or eight. And they're simple eyes. Um, as opposed to the complex eyes that many insects have. So I'll press play, you'll draw it. Oh, and another thing, the legs on here, you can't tell which body part they're coming out of. They really should be coming out of uh, the cephalothorax, which is where the head is, it's the front of the body. So if you try to attach them to the front, that would be more accurate. If you wanna add more eyes, that would also be more accurate. However, if it turns out like this, that's fine. All right.
pretty simple. Danny and Grant. All right. So, like I said, that was not the most accurate of spiders, but that's okay. Um, and the one I did earlier looks a little different than yours. So, we're going to go ahead and label the main parts. The first thing I want you to label are the two body parts with the cephalothorax, which is the front of the body with the head and the eyes, and usually the legs are attached there. And then you will also need uh, the abdomen, which is the back part of the body. Um, you have those written in your journal. If you want to copy from there, or you can look here. Don't write that yet. Eh. But the head is the cephalothorax. Remember, there's usually six to eight or up to eight eyes, usually six eyes or eight eyes. I might go back and add more on mine. And then these little, uh, they almost look like fangs coming out of the, the cephalothorax. Those are called the pedipalps. And the pedipalps can look and even act like extra arms. On some spiders, they even look like extra arms because they're so long on some spiders. Um, but they're usually used to hold insects for them to eat. So go ahead and pause if you need more time. Okay, so once you have the pedipalps and the cephalothorax, you also want to make sure you have your abdomen right here, A, B, D, O, M, E, N. And then one part that was not included on that drawing were the spinnerets, it's like two little triangles. Again, sometimes there's six or eight spinnerets. We're going to make two. And these produce silk. Let's see, we have that line of silk coming out that's made by the spinneret, which is at the very end of the abdomen. Pause if you need more time. Okay, so you should have the spinnerets, the abdomen, the pedipalps. Hmm. Is there the, something else I can help with? And the cephalothorax. All right. And that's your spider for today. Now tomorrow we are going to explore some different arachnids, including scorpions. And we're also going to compare arachnids to insects. Right, they're both part of the same phylum, which is called uh, arthropods. Arthropods include insects, uh, arachnids, and crustaceans. So right now, we already talked about insects. Right now, we're talking about arachnids. And later in the week, we'll talk about crustaceans. So uh, when you're done with your picture, you'll upload it under spider picture on Class Dojo. And that's it for today. If you still have time, please practice your typing. Uh, now more than ever, it's a very important skill. And um, hopefully when we get back to school, you'll be able to type faster than you can write. So have a wonderful afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.